And if you do want to micro drift it, you really have to get the angle right. Like, look how far I have to shake the car in order to get the the uh, needle to keep. Okay, dude. What is up, guys? Welcome back to another daily build video. This time we're checking out the S5 Sportback in Need for Speed Unbalanced, one of the new cars. It's one of the free cars. You don't have to pay for this one. And it's pretty OP in A class. I mean, I found a build that is uh, not too far from like the stock build of the engine, and it just it rails. It destroyed my best time on Old Town Road, and it's just something that actually feels pretty good to drive despite me not being a super fan of the new Audi handling. I know a lot of you guys are, but there's a reason why I'm not, and I'll get into that in just a moment. But let's take a look at the build first. And by the way, if you're looking for any of my builds, you can go to militiagamingco.com, click on NFS builds at the top, and that'll take you to our builds app for Need for Speed Heat and Need for Speed Unbound. They're both in there. All right, so let's get into the build real quick, and then I'll talk about why I don't like the handling for this car and for the Audis in general. So the engine we got running for this A-Class build is the 414 horsepower, 3.8 liter flat six. Now, as far as the parts on it, it's going to be sort of cheap for you because you really don't have to buy anything. These are all the stock parts with the exception of the nitrous, which I've upgraded to the Pro. Then if we go to the chassis, we've got the Elite Neutral Suspension, the cheapest sport brakes. And then for the tires, we're at Elite Neutral Tires, just regular tires for suspension and tires. This will give you the possibility to get to 80% grip on the handling slider, which is more than enough for A-Class. So we've got the Elite Clutch and the six speed gearbox, which you can actually go up from there. It doesn't really change anything. I just found the six speed to be a little bit more responsive. So that's the one that I went with. And the differential is going to be the elite differential. Again, that's how you get to the 80% grip. For the auxiliaries, we're running nitrous drift and nitrous grip. This is a grip build. So we've got 80% grip, minus one on the steering sensitivity, plus five on the downforce. Traction is off and drift entry is on brake tap. That is standard for any type of grip build that I do. I usually use brake tap as your drift entry. It just allows you to micro drift. And speaking of micro drifting, that's where this car and all of the Audis and their handling model really struggles. I cannot keep a drift alive by chirping the tires and you can, but the angle. Okay. All right, Audi, settle down, dude. The angle that you need to have the car at to to achieve what's considered a chirp is way too big. So it makes it to where you can't really utilize it on straights. So I'm going to try to get into a situation where I can show you this, but basically you end up dropping your burst nos when you're trying to get from turn to turn if there's a little bit of a straight section in between those. So, like, let's earn one here. See, we've got a nice micro drift going on. And we've got a burst nos. Now, in order to keep it going, usually you could just rock the car back and forth just like that. And it would keep it going. So let me get another one here for this next turn. All right. So, here we are. We've got to make it to that next turn. Now, on this road, it's okay. You can really turn hard. See? And then chirp the car just like that. And it keeps your burst alive. And then you can start using your burst right after your turns. So we'll earn the burst here. Use it mid-turn. Then we should be rewarded with a couple of bars. We are. And that turn came fast enough, so we didn't have to worry about it. But you can't save it. Like, micro-drifting these cars is extremely hard. They want to grip. They don't want to micro-drift. And if you do want to micro-drift it, you really have to get the angle right. Like, look how far... I have to shake the car in order to get the the uh, needle to keep... Okay, dude. That's also another problem with the cars. So this happens with all three Audis. When you three burst on a short turn like that at a low speed, the car just spins around. It's almost impossible to three burst turns without losing control. The fix for it is to initiate the drift right before you enter the turn and then make sure your steering is set very close to center like you have to be turning but just like the most microscopic amount of turning in order to make it go so this is the reason i don't really like the hand handling on these audis and i think the s5 is one of those cars that just it is so powerful and so fast that 
if you can get enough burst nos early in a race you can actually put distance on people but you're gonna struggle in situations where there's a series of turns back to back and there's a straight in between those turns you won't be able to chain your burst nos if you're wondering what i'm talking about i'm gonna link a video in the description so that you can see what all of these like little hidden techniques are in order to um you know keep your burst nos going like chaining and chirping those are things that i talk about in the video that i'll link in the description check that out because that'll give you an idea if you're if you're kind of lost on the whole handling and the and the burst nos um and chaining it, it that video does a great job so anyway this is the reason why i don't like it now that being said i blew my fastest time out of the water on old town road with this car and i think it's just because it has so much power and it grips the road so so well like it's way more grippy than any of the other cars and that actually goes for all of the audis but this one in particular in a class with an 80 percent grip setup it just feels like a monster so despite my distaste for not being able to micro drift the car very easily um it, it's so fast i mean it is just it, it's it's a beast dude it's an absolute beast it's super op in a class uh with this build on it now there are lots of cars that compete in a class um one of which happens to be the exige the exige is a very popular a class pick um it's a very solid car for the for the class but it just doesn't have the top speed and uh the race that i'm about to show you that i went online with what i went up against an exige and i just absolutely destroyed him and i don't think he was driving badly because he actually finished fairly closely to me within the i don't forget it was like maybe 10 or 15 seconds but it just couldn't keep up on any of the straights like at all the car has a top speed of like 178 but it actually gets up to like 175 on the straights which is wild for a tier anyways let me show you my fastest run on old town road and it's fastest by a lot i ran a 334 whereas my previous record when i was really grinding the game super hard i did a 340 so um yeah man this is uh this is a nice build anyway enjoy this run on old town road and i will catch you on the next one trigger out